Hello all my fellow gamers, Total War TV here coming at you guys, going to be talking about Total War Rome 2. My name is Isaac Holmes, and I'm joined today by... General Santucci, what's going on dudes? Genius was here from Game Your Empire. Jitsu? Sanjetsu here from uh, Sanjetsu. <laughs> Good delay. What's going on guys, it's Unrivaled Skyrim, how's, how's it going? And after that awkward pause between Jitsu, we are going to go ahead and leap into <laughs> what we're going to be discussing. And basically, it will be just about our current thoughts on Rome 2 Total War and all the problems that it has had. So first up, we're going to go to General and ask him what he kind of thinks about the cur the first release with all of its mistakes and whatnot. Oh boy. Alright, the first release. Well, biggest thing that really got me was when... I won my first online battle, which was the first battle I played. It was an epic, beautiful battle. I go to look at the replay. I want to make a nice, awesome video for everybody. And what does it do? At one point, it freezes and crashes my game. It drove me crazy. And then I just say, hey, all right. Hey. This doesn't work. Let's try another one. It does now. But back then, it was the beginning. Horrible. It was so bad. Like, it would be glitched. I'd be I'd be getting half of, like, three quarters of a battle in. And I'd be like, well, I guess that's acceptable. Because what am I going to do about it? And like, it, just, it just drove me nuts. And then the frame rates, um, they were okay. But the units were stupid. They, like, um, I did a review. My second comparison review is when uh, I was fighting the Bronze Shields Pikemen and, and all the Foot Companions. They didn't take out their uh, their spears to defend themselves. He stood there and just got chopped up by 18-foot uh, Sarissas. Like, what the hell? But, like, the visuals were beautiful. Like, the, the, I never saw a game like this before. But as it, um, patches came out, it got a lot better. But at the, at the beginning, which was, it was still a shocker. Like, you, you can see exactly what I did when I first saw, because I have it on YouTube. The first time I uploaded the game, my reactions and everything, it's all up there. Like, it's just, I, I, it took me like 30 minutes to uh, just fix my controls because it was, they didn't have a control setting for like exactly like Rome 1 had. So that took a while. <laughs> but yeah, it was, I, 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 I get a 5 out of 10 for the first release. All right, Gino, your thoughts on it? Gino. Gino. Where you speak, Gino. Or not. Whoops, sorry. Um, <laughs> well, like everyone else, basically, um, I was initially very encouraged by the game because they hyped it up so much and it looked actually pretty, pretty good in terms of the game quality for all the trailers and such. But then um, when it first came out, it was pretty funny because I saw the for forums getting plagued by all these technical bugs and stuff but I didn't suffer like anything like I've only had two campaign crashes like crash to desktops so I think I was like the lucky one and I think that's kind of plagued my um vision of the initial release a bit because yeah for one I, I didn't really suffer much but I do agree they kind of rushed it um there were lots of features that you know I wanted I wanted more, especially the political family system. I wanted that to expand into the family tree. Um, diplomacy is a bit bugged as well. And yeah, but uh, right now I'm, I'm still enjoying it a lot. Um, about the new DLC, I agree it could have been put into the game in the first place. But, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of legal issues and stuff. So yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty enjoying the game. Right now, I would give it around a 6 or a 7 out of 10. So, yeah. Alright, Jitsu, your thoughts? Well, when the, first, when the game first came out, I was very excited to get it. I wanted to I wanted to start my Let's Play uh, Spartan Machinima uh, series right away, and I started playing it, and then I realized, I started with the whole like first episode, then I realized that the replays I had forgotten because I didn't get Shogun 2 when it first came out, that the replays were all messed up they're all fucked up they were not working they were all 
they were all over all over the place um, and they crashed my computer they kept crashing to my computer and I was just that I couldn't I couldn't stand that uh, so I couldn't start it right away so I decided just to go ahead and play some online game and some uh, some campaign by myself uh, the campaign map was very buggy it was very um, choppy uh, but uh, when I played the battles the battles uh, I didn't get any of the performance issues that uh, a lot of people did get um, that the, the it was lagging majorly or anything like that uh, the only thing I did get was that uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't optimized like at all it was like it hurt my eyes kind of after a little bit it was like watching a 3d movie it was hurting my eyes for a little bit after I was watching the soldiers or whatever and they did fix that in the upcoming patches but um, for a little bit, I, I, I played I played a little bit, and uh, I didn't really get into too much of the problems until later on, where I started playing some of my campaigns, and uh, uh, and I'm more of a campaign guy, I'm not too much of an online guy. I, I do play some online, and I'm a I'm decent player, but I'm more for campaign, and what really ticked me off was that... It felt like it felt like they didn't do any t too much to the AI besides the AI being able to outflank you, um, um, or anything like that. Like the beginning, the AI was almost as dumb as like. I can't even well Empire I guess the only thing I can think of when I first got Empire it was like as dumb Empire couldn't form lines or anything like that it was it was just basically it was not there so after a couple patches and all they started fixing the AI and the AI on the campaign map really improved uh, I play all my games on very difficult and I find it very different from Shogun 2 because Shogun 2 you play on very difficult you get your ass beat like I I can play a campaign on Shogun 2 like that but in Rome 2 I can because it's like it's not as tough, um, but they're making it tougher, and they're they're they've op they've been optimizing it more. They've been, they've been uh, making the campaign uh, AI a lot better, um, things like that. But the actual battle AI isn't there at all yet. I mean, the only thing it does, like I said, it outflanks you and it forms it, it now it forms proper lines. That's about it. Uh, but it doesn't do too much anything else. Um, when you're playing on uh, on very hard, the AI is very smart, or, or very not very smart. Okay, very smart for AI for Total War. That's not Darth Maul, I would say. So it's it's like it's very it's it's intelligent. It does intelligent decisions, but the most thing the the biggest thing that I hate right now uh, is siege battles, like like sea siege battles and land siege battles. Not when I'm conducting them. When I'm conducting them, they get wiped out. But when it, but it still it 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 pisses me off that they decided to keep the throwing flares and torches at gates to burn them down i hate that that's just ridiculous i don't like that at all <laughs> it, it it takes away from the game for me like the, the medieval uh the medieval the mediterranean era it takes it away it, it's more of a shogun 2 thing and and i didn't like that at all uh it kind of makes ladders and stuff like that no avoid but anyway the the ai when it's attacking your cities like sometimes i have to forfeit the entire city even though i know i can defeat i can i can fight the army because the army stands outside the city and doesn't come inside the city uh stands outside if they're doing a naval assault to stand outside the naval assault that's why i can't play carthage anymore um it, it's just terrible terrible like it's, it's unex inexcusable at this point uh, at, at, at first yeah it, it we were getting really a lot of bugginess a lot of crappy stuff uh the ugly faces thing that was happening but uh, by now it's been two months in and seriously they should have fixed that siege battle because i can't i can't i'm, I'm tired of losing just all provinces because I because the, I have to forfeit even though I could win if this if the AI actually fought me if they fought me on my city I could win but since I can't I have to forfeit the entire city and lose a whole province and and I'm and I'm and I'm thrown back I mean it makes it harder yes but screw it it's annoying and and I know I can win and and it sucks now as far as the game right now the game for me I'm really enjoying it I'm a Total War fanboy I love Total War as much like I, it's my favorite you know, favorite can, favorite game. <laughs> I, I, it's my favorite. It's my favorite game of all time. It's uh. <laughs> no, I hate Call of Duty. I I I can't, I'm not very. But anyway, I'm talking about Total War. So Total War. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Total War fanboy. I do like Total War, but I do see the glaring problems and like the siege right now is um it's almost unplayable for some of the campaign for me. Um, but as far as everything else, it it is getting improved. Um, I'm willing to stick by the series and give them my money because it's my favorite series of all time and it's the one that i'm playing right now a lot so it's something that i'm willing to give money to and they've given me a lot of happy recording hours and hours of playing by myself um as far as the new dlc i don't want to keep going anymore but as far as the new dlc the blood pack i know a lot of, i got a lot of hate from a lot of people who hated the blood pack uh more because they had to pay for it and it wasn't free on the forums and um and a lot of people because they're like oh they should have been working on other stuff to fix instead of the the blood pack well that's dumb and i, I don't like that it's 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 seriously like they they're not not 
fixing the game by making a blood pack, and I'm glad that they made a blood pack, blood and gore pack, a month after um, the game released, because that's really what I wanted. I even made a petition on Total War Center about it, and and I I like the blood. It's 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 a mix. Be it's literally the perfect mix between Medieval 2's blood poofs when you shoot with crossbowmen and and Shogun 2's over the top blood spurts and and beheading and every soldier gets beheaded because that happens all the time in warfare i guess so it's like the perfect mix it's great i, do, I zoom out and i don't see the blood spurting all over the place and shogun 2 you zoom out you still see the blood everywhere it's like a blood battlefield and uh and i love it it, it, it adds immersion to the game there's no such thing as war without blood and that's my take on it so uh, i'm gonna end right there Thanks. skyrim your thoughts um i want I don't really have a whole lot to say uh, negatively about the game uh, in the beginning because, well, I couldn't play it for the most part. Um, my computer at the time was a piece of garbage, and I recently freaking had to buy a new one. That me back about uh, $1,400 plus tax. So, so um, Wow. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, no, I, I worked hard for that money. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, my main problems with the game, um, well, from the beginning, I couldn't play it, um, the frame rate was terrible, but with my new computer, um, I guess I have this computer about, I don't know, I, I guess what I don't like so far is the naval battles, like, you can just, at, at least what I've come across, um, uh, you can just spam, like, swordsmen and, like, raiders or whatever, and there's no way, like, I don't know, I just have a hard time naval battles, and, like, um, what, uh, Sun Tzu said about the, um, the, uh, uh, the siege battles, I kind of run into those problems, and, um, and I don't quite understand, like, the whole, like, you're playing online, and if you win, but the person, or the person, like, they, they, like, they admit defeat or they get out of the game how it counts as a loss or something i think that's a bug and i guess that's the only uh negative things i have to say about the game as for the, the blood dlc i kind of disagree with you a little bit i think it's a little bit too much blood like the guy is just covered in blood i mean uh, covered but, but in like what do you what do you expect what do you expect like Angry man. You get hit arm, with a javelin arm. and your head. I, I'm not saying it's that's yeah. it's too terrible. I'm just saying, come on, it's a, it's a little, yeah, little bit less. It, if I may, from a medical standpoint, that is somewhat accurate. I mean, if you chop off someone's head, naturally the blood will spurt. But I'm saying if you like get hit by an arrow and you're just then instantly covered from head to toe. With you, most likely, uh, uh, the blood loss from an arrow blood. would be minimal, actually. Skarm, are you saying like it's over dramatized? Yes. I wouldn't say it's over dramatized. I'm just saying I I I would prefer a little bit less blood. I'm not saying I don't know. Uh, I, if I'll, there was an option to turn it up or turn it down, that would be great. Be, that'd be Perhaps. Cool, actually. Yeah. And actually, I think yeah, that's a good idea. You know, if you're going to charge for blood DLC, you should have had that option. I mean, the mods, you can turn on, turn off, delete, do stuff like that. Why can't you do that with the blood pack? But Like like have, like have three notches, the first one, a little bit of blood, the second one, blood, and a little bit of decapitation, and the third one, just, yeah. just yeah, nasty, full on nasty, blood. nasty, nasty, just like yeah, yeah, I, I can understand if your limbs thing. are all cut off, and you're just, it's just a bloodbath, but I, I just can't see just getting, getting stabbed in the stomach, and you're just thin covered head to toe with blood. Yeah, that... It's pretty ridiculous. You know at what times. I? You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, I, I can understand, understand. If you're, you know, but uh, I guess that's what I had to say about the the game so far. I mean, I love it. I guess I'm a fanboy too. At least with Rome one and two, I haven't played much of the other ones. But um, yeah, that's my take so far. All right, so you guys kind of jumped ahead of some of my prompts. So I'll go ahead and talk about some of the other things. I guess it's you know my. <laughs> opinion turn now uh whatever own 2 released i didn't get to play it till the second day it came out and i was just uh what's the word sad i guess could be the word um i'm not a campaign player i don't really play campaign i never really did with any other game but i kind of have started with rome 2 i'm gonna start a campaign for the hub coming up but whenever i jumped on a multiplayer won some matches i was like hey i'm gonna do videos of this 
and the game was like, no, you're not, and it's just <laughs> gonna, you know, crash to my desktop. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's not good, and uh, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. It didn't get any better. At least it has it for me. I still had the problem where if I have certain programs open, like Fraps open on my computer whenever I start up Rome 2, Rome 2 will crash. It will not work. So I have to really? turn off Fraps, turn on Rome 2, then control alt delete out, turn on Fraps and go back into Rome 2. And I'm like, oh, with, with this... those problems, I would be a little pissed off too, you know? Yeah, and that wasn't in the beginning. So that means it was a recent patch. I was like, oh, okay, th this is not good. Uh, patches just weren't coming out that helped. And uh, I'm just going to throw this out here. I want to say that CA obviously lied. And, uh, oh, Gino has to leave. So goodbye, Gino. But. Here, Gino. Yeah. I would have to say that CA lied. They said that 2% of the people are having problems. Everyone else is okay. Why would you spend so much time on patches if it was just 2%? Most games have 2% problems, and they don't do anything. So CA was obviously lying on that part. Um, they didn't spend the money correctly. Uh, if you watch Rally Point... The number one oh, yeah. concern about them was graphics, 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 graphics. That that that's what it, it was. Like it, it wasn't gameplay. It just was not. It was just yeah. Look at these graphics. They look amazing. Look at the faces. <laughs> they look amazing. Oh, don't worry. Your awesome five thousand dollar computer can run it. No, it can't. I mean, I know oh. people who have a five thousand dollar computer. They couldn't run Rome two, but their laptop, which cost probably five hundred dollars, could run it. It's like, yeah, so you didn't weird. optimize it, and don't tell me that you had to push it out. Uh, there are plenty of games that could push back, and no matter how much people hate it, it's better to get the fin finished product. Uh, I often do this comparison whenever people are defending Rome 2. It's like, getting, let's say you go out and buy a car, and it's supposed to show up in two weeks. So you pay off for the car, and two weeks comes, and you get a motor. And... You get a little note that says, sorry, couple problems, you'll get the rest in a couple weeks. And so they keep shipping you parts of the car through the next few weeks, and you already paid for it, expecting to get the full th 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 finished th th product. Th that's, that's, that's not a fair comparison, because they would have to ship you the parts and an assembler, because I don't, I don't fix the game myself, it automatically does it. Okay, you know, they, so they ship me a, <laughs> just a simpler that too. <laughs> for that for that scenario, it, I mean, I don't know, it's not the I same. I mean, I know it's a dramatic scenario, but it fits because it is a unfinished product. Whenever we were basically promised a perfect game, you know, it's like, oh, this game's going to be epic. This and that, this and that. And it's like, I, I don't think they spent their money wisely. Uh, there's tons of historical problems. I was honestly <laughs> expecting a historical game. It kind yeah. of upset me wait, about wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. What, what are the historical problems? Because uh, I just I'm like one of those guys that like have seen. I mean, I've seen some historical problems, but I've also seen some like, oh, I didn't know that, and then I look it up in the book, and it's like like uh, the one that I didn't know is that um, Sarissa Cav. I didn't know. I didn't know that uh, the the Macedon had uh, actual like the companion cap had uh, a Sarissa that they actually carried along with them. And I know fool on me for not knowing that, but like I just thought it was like you know they just it was like normal cab, But I thought that was pretty cool that they had like a miniature version of the Sarissa that the actual foot companions had. And yeah, and I found uh, that out through the game. That, that and then actually I looked it up gave on way book. to the Lancer Calvary, I believe. But I mean, yeah. Okay, why? Just some of it is just completely off the wall, stupid, and it just yeah. irritates the crap out of me. Historically, your that historical stuff drives me crazy too. Like with the Roman units, Praetorians, while well, guard was never used in battle, they Except were used only in the city. Oh well, the Praetorians were used in battle. Yeah. Like that's why they have two. The Praetorians were used to guard the Praetorium, the the, the tent of the general, and uh, Augustus had two two cohorts of Praetorians, and they fought against um, Mark Antony, and they were completely wiped out. That was the only time they were ever used in battle. Yeah. And the fact that you can't limit them, they should be limited. That's, yeah, I, I, that is I something agree. I was going to bring up in I just agree. a second. Um, and then and then another thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, the um, the Roman infantry. Okay, 
All right. There's no such thing as a. There was never a unit called the Eagle Cohort. It was called the First Cohort. Every first cohort of a legion carried the eagle with them. The the centurion of that cohort was the chief centurion of the legion. Why this you, first cohort you know, doesn't have an eagle drives me crazy. They're you know, useless. That, that, that's one thing that I hate about it too, about the Roman faction. They have so many infantry units, and some of them just have like, like, uh, like it's like the the difference is like plus five charge or something, and it's like yeah. a different unit for each thing. It's crazy. I'm like, I'm like looking at it. It's like, why did you guys should have made like who likes that many Roman units? You you could have made them similar to other factions where they have specific units for each thing, but no, they made them so many units, and it's like it's crazy that yeah. somebody would want to spam eagle cohort when they can get like another co like whatever for like fifty gold cheaper. It's it's ridiculous, and I thought it was like they're going the same route as Rome. That was like everyone's big biggest problem with Rome, uh, the first one, Perfect that, that, yeah. that Rome had so much units, <laughs> you know, compared to compared to other factions. It was it, was, it, 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 it literally it, is just annoying. And then, and then like the uh, the legionary cohort unit, why do you need to have armored legionaries, uh, armio you know, and uh, chainmail <laughs> legionaries? <laughs> they they are essentially the late legion and the early legion of Rome one. Uh, I kind of understand where they're going with this, but this kind of leads into my next topic is, you guys know, I was a huge Medieval 2, I uh, still am, but I haven't played in a couple of days, but I'm medieval. a huge Medieval 2 player, medieval and two. it is so like Rome 1 in the fighting style, but comparing it to, like, how it's set up. So in Medieval 2, you have these options, early, middle, late, and then all, period. So if you use early, you're not going to have advanced weaponry. You're not going to have a whole bunch of musketeers. You're going to get maybe arquebus or handgunners or stuff like that. Nothing like that's uh, crazy stuff that's going to happen. So personally, I think whenever you're setting up a multiplayer uh, battle, you should be able to you know, choose that option. Hey, I want to be able to limit elite units because you're not going to be able to have... 30 urban cohorts or Praetorian <laughs> Guard or whatever the hell. That That's just stupid. Uh, yeah. That many didn't even exist. It just sounds it's, like they were lazy. They didn't want to separate them or assify them as different. Yeah, it, it just sounds that it, way. Once again, it was the and whole it, graphics thing, and it, it's really stupid. As well as having a forced general, I think there should be an option <laughs> to change that. The yeah, map system is. Yeah, that's pretty cool that you can choose any place. I love that. Most of the maps are so stupid. Like, well, they're, hey, they're, they're, they're here's Mount Vesuvius right in the middle. It's like, oh my god. Um, let's see. The fact that artillery is that effective. Oh yeah. It it took till the eighteen six or. 30s to get really accurate artillery with gunpowder. You think a giant thing that will just sling a giant disformed rock is going to be that accurate? You know, aerodynamics, it doesn't work like that. It's just not that accurate. Maybe the scorpions were, but definitely not onagers. They were designed to batter down walls. They weren't designed to stand on a freaking hill while you use pikemen to just form a new box and kill thousands of troops. It's ridiculous. I, I'm ash I'm ashamed. I did online play I did online play one time and I attacked a new box of pikes and I lost. <laughs> I, it's I attacked, because I, I pikes all from one side. Like I thought I could break one side of it, but you know what? The pikes just destroyed me. It was terrible. Yeah, I, it ashamed. is kind of bad. And I know one time Gino, I I was fighting against Gino. I think was it Yujitsu? in which I used hmm. an entire stack of onagers and completely destroyed. It, it was me. It was uh, you and it was like you and Gino versus. I think I was by myself and I was trying no, to kill you, you guys. I don't know. Yeah, that was one uh, time. Uh, but we also played a multiplayer battle. And it, it's just so stupid. It onagers and heavy ballista stuff like that. It's not that accurate. So they didn't do their research on that. Um, let's see. They focus so much well, on graphics. Well, they tried to make it similar like Fall of the Samurai. Fall of the Samurai had, like, precision, uh, artillery, basically, so it was kind of yes. like, they were trying to make it kind of yes, like that. Yes, but that's a parrot a cannon. like that, but it was, yeah, exactly. Who it's here has fired a know? parrot cannon? Oh, uh, <laughs> none of us. <laughs> I have. I have fired a parrot cannon. They are very oh, accurate. Have? Yes, I have. They are very that's accurate. Awesome. They're very scary weapons. They're very 
huge and loud. Onagers aren't like that. And hang on, let me change the volume for. You know, you know, you know which one? Uh, uh, onagers. I mean, to me, the accuracy. Okay, it's fine because I, I, I can. I like my uh, microwave my units to like kind of miss the rocks, even though I don't miss them ninety percent of the time. But the one that I don't like is uh, uh it's, it's a scorpion. I think it's called the the one that's like uh, it's like three or four guys that they have uh and they shoot giant bolts. I don't know if it's a scorpion or it's called something else, but that one is way too accurate. That like takes my horsemen, like it kills all my horsemen basically. Yeah. If they uh, aim it at my, if they aim it at my general, my my general is dead in a couple minutes if I if I don't move him right away. In Crazy. the video in which Skyrim and I and I was playing as one of the new nomad factions, I got completely destroyed by those. It was ridiculous. They <laughs> are so quick and whatnot. It was just so stupid. Yeah, they're um, using th those against me and um General Santush. That one video. Yeah, they are really they are they are pretty good. <laughs> I, I yeah. think one of the dumbest things is uh is uh burning burning javelins. I I, I hate I hate I think, that. <laughs> I hate that's I the, the stupidest game, thing I ever heard in my life. I believe the game's majority is balanced except for the artillery. It just depends on how micro extensive extensive your skills are, as in taking down elite units. As yeah. uh, elite uh, units, they do get exhausted pretty fast it's just how you micro now again how i play my when i played the nomadic factions i'm playing i played against a guy that had let's say seven or eight praetorian guards all i had it was cavalry of course i i beat him in in the cavalry or in the melee combat because that's all he spammed mainly because how i use effectively i use my horse archers it's just that you have to it depends you have to what how you're going to use your archers and your javelins now how i started playing like how i started playing now i started using one, it's like every other horse archer is going to have flaming arrows, and the other one's going to have no more arrows. The flaming <laughs> arrows I use for the morale drop, and that morale drop really does help, really does take now, take them down to a, a I, I notch. I whist whistling arrows are better than flaming arrows at yes, the proper morale. Like, so actually, much better. Actually, I think that here's the, th here's, the th here's the difference, is that I believe whist I think flaming arrows drop the morale by a ton. It's just that you run out faster while whistling arrows drop it at a Well, they're also rate. inaccurate. They're very inaccurate, the, the fire arrows, I think. Yeah, um, they, they do five the damage, arrows. by the way. But, uh, yeah, the elite spam, the elite spams, it just all depends on how you're going to play it out. It's just you have to be very micro extensive. Like, again, every Total War game, you have to win the Cavalry War. If you win the, once you win the Cavalry War, you basically win the game. Um, well, that's why I, I normally I normally lost in medieval two when I was playing as the uh, Aztec or something because I had no cav. I'm like, yeah, like when I play, my, <laughs> it depends yeah, like, on how you use them. No, it's just like fighting I... a cavalry a cavalry rich army. Like every time I played as the I... Aztec or the Mayan, it's I always lost. Like it's, especially with like, cav. It it's just depends. That, uh, it's, it might have just it's been how, me though. It how usually, somebody how else might have better luck. Let's say this: my YouTube channel is built around Empire, so especially in Empire, if you yeah, lose the cavalry war, you you're basically going to lose the game. It, look, you have to win the Calvary Ward Empire. And this after that, it's just always in, like Shogun 2, it varies. It all depends on how you're going to play it out because your general can have a gun that can shoot pretty awesomely. But yeah, it just all depends on how you can micro out your units and tire out your... Now, if you have a lot of archers versus his elites, then you should win overall. It's just how micro and how fast you're going to take out the enemy cavalry. That's all I'm saying. I, I want to point out that... Um... They've changed in the patches so many times the effect of arrows and uh, missile units that oftentimes I lose track on what is effective and what's not. Sometimes arrows will be armor piercing. I believe right, right now they're not. So it's That's like good. okay, oh, so wait, wait, no, yeah, no, no. arrows or are you talking about uh, arrows? arrows? Yeah, I feel like they sh some arrow like I don't know like not light troop arrows, but um, elite yeah, like arrows the heavy shot. Piercing. That makes sense, and I'm kind of glad they added that. But uh... oh, the heavy, oh, the heavy shot is pretty awesome. Let's yeah, again, when it comes to the nomadic tribes, the let's say if you go with the elite noble horse cavalry or whatever, the elite ones are not cost effective about at all, in my opinion. The most cost effective ones are the ones that actually do have heavy shot because the heavy shot does really make a difference. In oh yeah, how, oh yeah, how they definitely do. Go. Heavy I, shot like, again, is quite amazing. Okay, I've been playing the Nomad Tribes ever since they came out like hardcore, and I, yeah, that heavy shot does help a ton, especially when you, you have their infantry or cavalry engaged with your cavalry, run your horse archers behind them and just fire from behind, and there you get a de decency right there. Uh, and talking about Empire, we all know early period battles, you had pikemen, and I want to point out with Rome 2 Total War, all the graphics they have, 
if you use a pikeman and he pulls out his sword, his Sarissa disappears. Where he puts it, I really don't want to know. But <laughs> in Empire, he holds no, it in his hand. Why couldn't they do that? Seriously. No, no, no. Ashi uh, they had that problem with Ashigaru for a while uh, in Shogun 2, and then they changed it where the it disappears too. So it was like it, they did the same. They did the exact same thing with Shogun too uh, with the Ashigaru. They they had it where like it disappeared, and then like at some point they were just like, oh, he can just fight with his uh, with his uh, pike, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Shogun it, it, I mean, I haven't played Shogun 2, so I was gonna ask you guys who have played it. Avatar system yep. would it have been good? Yes. That's right. His notes Absolutely. Yeah, it would, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Should they have done it where you had the option to play an avatar battle? Or option not to play Avatar. You don't they have, have that. They should. They had that Shogun. Shogun. Yeah. Okay, they do. And so, yeah, that was my main concern. I wasn't sure how they had that set up because I've never played Shogun 2. Not yet. The, the Avatar system basically makes you, like, it, it, it brings you closer to the army. Like, I didn't really like the Avatar Conquest part because, like, dude, I still don't have bow monks. I And, and that's, like, a Are really you good idea. Dude, I haven't, gone, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done any naval battles to get to the island of, uh, I don't know, it was like, Coaches no, all you, like that. Do, all you but, have to do is just all you have to do is find a friend and farm, or whatever. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the time to do. To, I just to no, do that. no. All you do is just find a friend, and you sit there for like I guess five, ten minutes, or till whatever time you need to sit there for, and you automatically you know just farm like that, and you get your shit going. Because yeah, I always hate naval battles. I don't do naval battles. Naval I actually yeah, didn't mind. Like, uh... I didn't mind them in Shogun Two as much, but like I couldn't do the Fall of the Samurai ones because like uh, my 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 ships. I don't know. It was weird controlling them a little bit. But like when I'm doing Rome Two naval battles, it's like a little. I feel like it's almost like it's not the same at all. It's like you have to think of it like you're fighting. You're like using a normal army because you have to have ships to board other ships, and then you have to have arrow ships, and then you have to have artillery ships. It's like a normal army on land, but it's on water, which is different than other all the all, all the other ones. Like and I still say that the best the best naval battles I've ever had in Total War are not in Fall of the Samurai, but are in Empire and and I've seen some. I've done some in Napoleon, and Napoleon's pretty good too. Yeah, yeah those I look quite interesting. Feel... And Shogun 2 is that how the Avatar system was. I was able to bring whatever troop I wanted. Like in let's say this in Rome 2, you can you have the ability to bring out whatever troop you want, you know. But in Shogun 2, you actually you needed to have you needed to think what kind of army your opponent was going to bring. Like let's say if I was using Shogun 2 Avatar versus the Fall of the Samurai Avatar, everybody knows that Fall of the Samurai has guns, of course. So I would just like in th this game. Uh, Shogun 2, you're able to bring Ashigaru in just as what, uh, bullet fodder or whatever, just to take the bullets and you can use your main melee to attack or whatever, You, right? you, you can use father, fodder in Rome 2 because uh, you take too much of a penalty hit when they start breaking. Uh, yeah. To other units, like I've seen that yeah, so true. much. Like my units, my my elite <laughs> units break when my freaking what is it? My my coastal levies break first, and then they start they start breaking. Like if you scroll over them with the little sidebar thing, it shows it like their base morale is cut in half or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah, that's oh, really? oh my god. Pretty yeah, stupid. I, I, don't, I don't even I don't even do it anymore. I'm like, you know what? Uh, that's for another game. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think Rome Two is exactly set up to allow cannon fodder. Which, I mean, it's historically accurate. You wouldn't actually go out there and say, Hey guys, run out there, get hit in the face with a javelin. Good job. <laughs> you may now continue back to the camp while the rest of us go out and fight. You don't do that. I've named a couple of my armies cannon fodder. <laughs> like, <laughs> the ones that I have on the campaign map. I, I use, like, uh, militia and stuff, and then, like, just really cheap armies. Like, I just named them cannon fodder. I'm like, you know, you guys are going <laughs> to die, and then I'll send in my good units, and oh, then they'll, good. they'll do the job. <laughs> But yeah, um, awesome. personally, I hate the fact that, uh, going back to the historical accuracy, um, oh, yeah. the Romans can only fire one volley and then attack. Um, they they held two volleys of I've pila. Never, I've never seen that. Unless they, they break, no, they break tried... one unit and then run to another unit and yeah, then they I tried fire that. the second Someone, one. Yeah, I tried that. Someone said on the forum, so like you can, let's say you were fighting like a hoplite faction, right? You could keep running your troops back and you're using your pila and stuff like that. I tried that. That does not work. Yeah, <laughs> I, I tried it too. It does not work. I was like, what's the point of me having uh, like missiles still in my unit and I can't throw them? <laughs> Here's yeah, something they... I was kind of hoping. So they add in flaming javelins. Only one record in history in which those were used. Incendiary pigs. Only one record they were used. By the way, it was not in ancient times. Just want to point that out. 
out. I've the only time incendiary... I haven't used incendiary picks at all in Rome Two. Are they are they cool? Is it fun? Rome Two? They don't have them. Oh, they don't have them in there. Oh. No, no. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, going life. to Rome I was like, One. No wonder I haven't but used them. Then. Hold up. <laughs> I wanted the ability with my Roman troops that have Pelum, so my legionaries, to hit a counter cavalry capability, and historically they would use their Pelum as spears and fight off yeah. cavalry. I wanted that ability, True. didn't add it, they add in flame javelins. I'm sorry, that's <laughs> so stupid. You can only fire one javelin too? No, they carry two, a light one and then yeah. a heavy one. They should have... I want to see time. them marching with the javelins in their hand. Yeah, they like, had that straight in up and the down. Barbarian expansion of Rome yeah. 1. How long it's ago was that? They right, can't do that in this one? This is kind of sad. I'm on the forums. Don't set the Blood and Gore DLC is unfair for multiplayer. Why? Wow. <laughs> because the blood splatter <laughs> that you could tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that being a problem. Wait, I, wait, the, the, the blood is what? You the blood splatter, how you can see what unit's dying the most there with the blood splatter and, and crap. <laughs> oh, that's gay. That's stupid. I, of course. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so yeah, um like nomadic it. nomadic DLC. Um I'm glad it was free for the first week. Um the fact that <laughs> it only added in three factions and they were all horses, nothing not a big deal. And the fact that they're gonna charge people eight dollars for oh, yeah. it now, for whoa, now on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, well, no, no, wait, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. No, it was only free though. for the, the first. It was only free for the first. Uh, what the day? No, 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 no. for no, the first the thing, week. Though, the I uh, so here's the thing though, is that they gave you a full week. They advertised the hell out of that to get it. If you didn't get it, that's your fault, in my opinion. What if you didn't I, I, I own that. the game? I, I believe that. What yeah, if what you if it, it was free for, it was free for like or... a week, what, a week and or a week and a half, something like that. If you didn't get it, it was your fault. I even told my no. friend to get it. No, you don't get to play with horses. That's what that means. It, that's it's stupid. It, it doesn't add anything else. Okay, let's see. You have to buy Actually, the Spartans. You have to buy the Spartans in a DLC if you didn't pre-order. Yeah, Pre that is so stupid. I, 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 I pre-ordered though, so yeah, I, I guess, have them too. I guess if you, yeah, but I, I understand where you're coming from, but like, it, it's been this way since like I don't know if medieval or Rome, but I know Empire. You had to buy. I, I still don't have all the special units for Empire. Like you get like these <laughs> oh, cool yeah, Indian way, warriors and shit. Like yeah, I don't actually, have that. Yeah, if you have yeah, all, that, if you, if you play yeah, in Empire Total War, if you don't some DLC, you have to have or else it's just you're gonna get outgunned and out and lose. Yeah, and uh, that is not right. The pay to my, win is just wrong. My faction, like my clan, I, I was in called Salvage Beast. We were known for like playing the natives. We had all of us had like the best, you know, all the DLC. We will usually win like almost every battle using the natives' underrated factions. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I have but, yeah. all the DLC for Empire Napoleon. That's because I got the special gold edition a while back. But Medieval Two came out. They had DLC, an expansion pack of Barbarian Invasion. Then they had, uh, well, in Rome 1, you had, no, I'm sorry, that was uh, Rome 1 with Barbarian Expansion. Kingdom's Expansion was Medieval 2. And then they came out with the really bad DLC. I was fine with the huge, they had in a whole bunch of stuff, you know, the Kingdoms with Medieval 2, that in added in new maps, new factions, stuff like that. That was great. Whenever they start doing, oh, hey, you're going to get three units for... Like eight dollars? Um, no, that's bad. That's that's really bad marketing, and that's really <laughs> bad publicity. Um, so the fact that you had to pre-order Spartans, Athens, and uh, Ephesus, so stupid. Because the two factions that people want to play in Rome two are Rome and Sparta. It, I, I mean, if you're just some person, it's like, hey, Rome two, I want to play Sparta. A lot of people love the Spartans. You had to pre-order, otherwise you have to pay. They suck. But no, yeah, see, think, think of the too. guy. Think of the guy in the in the in the room at CA where he was just like, "Hey guys, you know it'd be great. People love Spartans. How about we make it into a? You can only pre-order it. It'll bring ourselves up that way, and then you get it for free. And then if you don't pre-order, you have to pay for it. And people still buy it because it's the Spartans and they love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's oh, not sales. That. Like I'm in sales. That would be like, oh, great job, guy. High five or whatever. And then like, no, that would be like, thing, though, how about make say... the game good? And then you'd be like, what? Yeah. Game for free? <laughs> Throw them out there. Yeah, throw I would the say is that if you install the uh, that mod that unlocks all the factions, there's only about let's say 
they can only add in at least about five more factions because every faction there's no difference in units unless they add in some type of DLC. Yeah. Truly. It's because like Egypt is like freaking Rome where they do have melee, which I felt like in Rome one had more unity diversity than Rome two because it feels like Egypt shouldn't have that that much melee of a choice or whatnot. But I yeah. I really wanted an early period going back to the whole different periods. I wanted an early period had the Assyrians versus the Egyptians. I just wanted to see wait, that wait, wait, so wait. bad. I, I I got I got something, guys. I got something. <sighs> and, and 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 with what you're saying, I would like to see that as an in its whole game. Like I want to play as the yep. Israelites running through the Middle East. Like okay. Anyway, yes. back to what oh, I was man. saying. Okay. Okay. Mesopotamia, back to what I was total saying. War, man. Meso Mesopotamia, back. all that. I would no, don't give them ideas. As Hannibal, as Hannibal, if they had put generals from the era in, that would have been so much better than having these faceless goons that I sure. normally just lose because I run them in and I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So I would have Actually, loved to play as Caesar, Hannibal. Yep. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh oh my God, uh, I can't think of the name. The Actually, kind of think about it. Epirus guy. They should have brought. They should have did that. Pirate? Actually, they yeah, pi yeah, they, yeah, that, yeah, him. They should have kind of did like love they that. didn't. They should have kind of did like they did in Napoleon. You know how Napoleon. Yes, you're, that's what I was going to bring up. General. Napoleon. You have but Napoleon you... in battle. You know why can't well, you do about, that? Uh, wait. Well, what about like the fact that they said that you're not going to be able to play against like a really really old style like army like Macedon when and they fight them with Praetorian guards. They said that when they were making the game. That's I know but they really, changed. Like, yeah, they <laughs> like oh yeah, fight anybody. You're like come on. Like how unfair is that? Exactly. You know, and then well, the, that, the... It, 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 you know those really cheap units. They kind of thought of it like, oh, Shogun Two has really cheap units. We can just have them as that, like the earlier units, because obviously they have less tech, so they're like, you that know, that doesn't weaker. work. But That's why they it, need it's so stupid That's because why they had an early yeah, game. early period would have been it, so much better. Medieval because Two. I could, I, I would have loved to have a Numidian like uh, traditional. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Egypt, Egypt army, like an, a traditional Egyptian army, not like so traditional that it would be historically game breaking, but like just using the traditional troops that they had there, like the uh, the um, uh, the Egyptian infantry or whatever, the, the basic ones. I would have loved to have an army like that face another army that would be like the same time period. But you know what? No, I use that army and I face Praetorian guard, and you know what happens? I, I play a two minute battle, and that's that's it. That's the end. You know what? Wait, what about the fact that the Egyptians? have like greek armies but when <laughs> julius caesar fought uh like um cleopatra's brother right in battle they didn't have greek military they had people in the surrounding areas and this couple mercenaries yeah, exactly they, their, their hellenic faction of the, only, the, great the only faction non -existent. the only faction that i think that's really Perfect. That's really like it's Rum One counterpart. It's the Seleucids. That's the only faction. Yeah, I so. really, it is. It really, uh, it really is. No, because, they, because because of the uh, the Silver Shield Souls, uh, the Silver yeah, those, Shield, yeah, those are, the Silver yeah, those Shield Swordsman. <laughs> they don't look, but uh, to me, they don't look like legionaries from like the first game. Like the, those, I know they should have. They were like sil They were like they were no, like silver looking. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing is that they they're supposed to be like Silver Shield legionaries. I uh, not le they're supposed to be like legionaries. It's the it's the, it's the Seleucids copy of them. It's not supposed to be exact. Yeah. But to copy. be fair, they the enemies of Rome would at times take the Roman armor because it was oftentimes superior to their own. So if they could have mixed it up a little bit, had varying variant uh, types oh, wait, 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 of I, troops. I, 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 you, I got one thing, guys. Shields. I got one thing. I got one thing. Okay, let me let me bring in a big thing here, and I know I, I'm pretty I got sure you, some of you some some of you guys <laughs> some of you guys might say you might be like in disgust of this, but. <laughs> Like it, like in Shogun 2, which I know Isaac hasn't played, um, would you guys have liked or have tolerated maybe a woman, a female unit, even if, if it was just a mercenary unit, or having they, maybe some some of the, some of the art, some of the military units, they have some, they some have of the female. regiments have they have had girls a female in them. unit. They had a Wait. female unit. They Ooh. did in Rome 2. Yeah, no, Shogun 2. They had a female unit. No, that's what I'm saying. Just like Shogun. They had it in, in, in Rome, uh, Rome 1. The Amazons. Rome 2. Yeah, they what screeching women. They yeah, they've they, they, they had, had women and hunting except, maidens. Yeah, they've had they've hey. had them in. I don't know if they had them in medieval though, yeah. or empire, or Napoleon. But I know they had them in Shogun and Rome. But they, <laughs> they should they have should they have put them in Rome too though? Should they have put those in Rome too? Yeah, I totally think should. that they should have put like the Spartan women as a unit because <laughs> you do you, you hear the tales that how tough they were when the men were out fighting, they were taking care of the slaves like they was 
kick the shit out of him. They ran. If they here, I, 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 out of hand. Here is an few. No, I was one of the few that said that they should have had at least as a mercenary unit in like I don't know somewhere like historically kind of similar to where the Amazons might have been. Like if you were in that area, you could you could you could recruit some mercenary. Um, not, not they wouldn't be called Amazons, but they would be like. Like their description would say, like some say that they're you know they're descendants of the Amazons or something like that, you know, or yeah. something like that. But they would call something different. But there'd be like women warriors. That'd be awesome. I, I don't know. That'd be awesome, dude. That yeah. would be pretty cool. But... You guys remember the wallpaper that they released before release that showed? Well, hello, the welcome, the Gino. Nice to see you, uh -huh. Gino. Yeah, I That's remember. I had that as my wallpaper. The uh, the chick on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that. And then I, that I, went I, everyone. Went... Um, Basically conspiring if there was like women units inside the game. Of course, there's not, because Rome, no, you know, CA decided to lie with all their screenshots and stuff like that. Like, if you bother to look at their screenshots and then look whenever Rome Two first came out, and the pic, you know, screenshots, the faces were so bad. But I, I, I could go on for hours making fun of CA for the way they handled Rome Two. But we need well, to move I think on. They, I think they figured that the uh, that you know how they added. Well, I don't know. You haven't played um, the the actual. Well, I don't know if you played the campaign to the extent where you know that some of the factions they have the women units, the agents or whatever. I feel like they thought that that was kind of enough to like. Oh, we <laughs> yeah, have, sure. We we add women to the game. They're they're agents. <laughs> they do things, and that's another thing that pisses me off about it. Sexism. Why do my gen Why do my generals die before my like all my generals die before my agents do? Like I feel like it should have <laughs> been like at the, the same rate, but like my generals die like at least five six turns before my any of my agents do, and it's really annoying. It's like what what's the point of even like like I. I have no like in Rome in Rome and and well just mainly mainly in Rome and probably medieval I've had like that one general that I was like this guy he's my king he's my general he's my ace he's the guy that's gonna take my empire okay, the Mediterranean like, or whatever but dude, there's nothing like that in Rome. Like, it's kind of it kind of seems like a shogun too when you had your avatar you can make your avatar full melee <laughs> well I'm talking more about ro I'm talking about more about role playing role playing aspect like you think like, like oh this is my general like uh, you dies. get uh, in, medi in medieval you get like Lionheart or something you're like yep. Lionheart I'm gonna take him all the way to the Middle East I remember shit, that you know? that was amazing I, lo I love that and, I'll, and, and he can rank up and stuff he can be all tough and shit like, William no, Wallace just awesome. shows up yeah, doesn't oh my God. no? Doesn't he's a baller. And then... Don't you, doesn't Ingly start out with King Charles? Or I think he plays. I can't remember. I I know Sorry, Philip the II. Uh, if you play the Kingdoms expansion of Medieval Two and do the uh, British Isles, Philip the Second shows up from the Crusades. And if you're playing England, you get him. If you're playing Scotland, all of a sudden William Wallace will show up with a huge army, and that was always really awesome. The Termites. I wish I wish Shogun too. Wrong. Oh God, no. Like that. Oh God, no. Oh, oh God, no. 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 Let's let's keep play, those in medieval too because those play, were those were tough no. to uh, to beat. Never those play. Are, the, uh, never play the Ottomans against the Termites. That's so terrible. No, 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 against it, the Mongols. That was the such. First wave. It, it, the Ottomans would be my last faction to pick medieval because first you have to face the Mongols and then the Timurids. It's like, oh, I defeated <laughs> the Mongol hordes that were like six Trust packs me. in my territory, and then like Trust me. you get the Timurids like a couple turns later. Like, damn it. Trust me. It's God, like when I, it. when I know that the Timurids are gonna come by, I usually have like t ten generals with like <laughs> fucking with awful stacks of armies, and guess what? My that army barely still still beats. Their, it's like it could be like fifteen thousand against like. Four thousand, and I'll still See, that, 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 they, they, it's like they went for when in Rome too. They went more for like a customization, a personal like connection to the armies and stuff. But they took the one key unit out, which is the general. They made yeah. the general like in the political system, and the political system sucks in Rome too. Mm -hmm. right, that's oh, yeah. that's it. I've, ne I've never, I've never had a, a, a civil war. I've never had anything where like the other, the other family could be at ninety six percent approval rating, and I could be like at six, and, and still I, 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 I'm. Better. And then you just I, assassinate. I, I that's, oh yeah, that's exactly, again, and then um, I assassinate them, and, and, and it always the, assassinates them. What's the equipment? I always can bribe them. I guarantee you, whenever you play multiplayer, right? There's a certain piece of you, there's a side where it says equipment. That's probably gonna be as DLC where you buy extra stuff, some type of equipment to change your unit's clothing and stuff like that. Have you guys, <laughs> have you guys ever noticed that? No, I've not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's on the yeah, it's on the side there. It's like uh, when you're in the multiplayer menu, it shows you you know your units and it says equipment. Oh no, that's really? actually for uh, defenses on the battlefield. Really? Yeah, yeah, equ yeah. yeah. Equipment is for ambushes and stuff. 
Oh, it's okay. like, you it's can like, use them like on the land battles. Fires and like tax and stuff like that exposed and like. Okay, I, I, I never really, I never really. Which is that, another okay. big problem that, that that opens up another big problem with the game right now is ambushes. Like I wish they would have kept it like in Shogun 2. They had a good thing going for many years where you hide in the freaking trees and like a guy comes near you and you ambush them. You know where you're gonna ambush. Oh, yeah. I never know when I'm gonna ambush somebody in Rome 2. Like I I can't I can't predict an ambush because like. It's stupid. Like, the enemy never goes through my ambush spot if I'm just out in the open. And then number two is, like, sometimes I attack a unit, like, or, like, a, a, I attack a stack, and, like, it automatically puts me in an ambush position where, like, I can ambush them, which is, like, what the hell's going on? Like, I have no idea what's going on. It's, like, crazy. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it yeah. so much. All right. We have to move on uh, to multiplayer. I'm going to bring this up. Unless I'm fighting you guys, I have not fought up against a good multiplayer person. You don't know who's good or not. That's the I, problem. I, it's just, I, I would disagree. <laughs> I, I think you can pretty Honestly, easily tell. To be honest with you, there's no one in Rome, show, in my opinion, no one in Rome 2 is good at all. Yeah. Man, because the people that I usually the the people the top, I can already whatever, I can already see the comments on the, the page top, on the yeah. <laughs> the top what? fifty. No, I'm telling you, the, the top fifty to like a hundred people. I'm not right, counting are not that. Not that good. It's mainly because they lame. They lame the hell out of the elites. They, right now, yeah. the top faction at the moment is Egypt. You know why? It's because the people have spent Galatian guards with Ptolemy Calvary, and it always wins, no matter yeah. what. Army and, have. yeah, like, that's why I don't follow that list, because, like, I watched the tournament that Total War Network put out. It was so lame, because all it was was elite spam. It's like, wow, this is not. That, it was all elite. Uh, elite uh, it was. Uh, I mean, I I found it enjoyable, and I don't want to like diss any of the people who were in the tournament. Yeah, they but, are like, good players. Some, some some of the battles were just so stupid. Like like and 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 it was kind of some of them was elite and uh, elite spam. But like when you have money on the line, what else are you gonna do? Are you gonna pick some freaking See, exactly. really cheap units? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna bring up. What people is say. The yeah, fact... What people say is that what's what's your definition of elite spamming? What is your definition? Is elite spanning is where you have six or more because in, and people will say in tournament wise, six or more, six is okay. But other than that, you really can't have six. So what is I your mean, if you don't have that? anything, if you don't have any like what I call mediocre units like armored legionnaires, you don't see that. You see Praetorian Guard and Praetorians, Praetorian Cavalry. Yeah, it, it, basically, it's... for me, elite spam is if you don't have any fodder units and if you pick Rome all the time. Those that's yeah. that's basically and like, Egypt back in the day and before, things like that. The, yeah, Egypt, Rome, and Macedon. That's that's back in the day with DLCs. Now, like, it's got the the horse faction, so those are pretty good, and so oh. those are really good. So oh, man. those are gonna be in, in the next tournament. But, but, I enjoyed the whole thing, oh, but like man. some of the battles, it felt like it felt like some of them were like they threw uh, some of the people in the tournament like didn't try as hard as they could, and then yeah. it was kind of like they were trying to get to the three battle thing. And, Please. and I had to I had to throw it out with Air of Carthage. He did this in the first battle. He just threw it away. He gave he gave it to uh, Andy Pride, and then. And he left all his units just sitting on the sidelines. He gave it to Indy Pride. The second battle was amazing. It was awesome. Oh, hey, oh. And, the, and the third battle no. was awesome. But it was like they were stretching it out, and it, it felt like it felt like they were they were kind of just stretching it out. I guess, Reason a why bit. I think it's because Air he's not really into the multiplayer. What's wrong yeah, to he's not, not yet? He's not really Wait, into it yet. It, and plus, when it first came out, when he, when he first came out, he was gone for like at least about a week and a half or two weeks or something like that. So I think he said it for like was, a month, but then it yeah, was like only yeah. three weeks or something. Yeah, it wasn't on his top agenda. All right, if I may, the thing <laughs> with those tournaments is everyone wants to win, so you're going to spam elites, and thus it's just a stagnant battle that is Elite spam. just, yeah, and the thing whenever I say you don't see good players is because you either see elite spam, and elite spam is quite ridiculous. Uh, I've had, I think if you have two units of pikemen versus a unit of more elite pikemen, you should probably be able to win because you have the number odds. You know that would make sense, phalanx stuff like that. But no, I've I've seen elite pikemen destroy two units at once, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, that seems legit. I've seen uh, Spartans get completely surrounded and withstand till like five troops left. Oh, okay, uh, that's that's good to know. Um, I <laughs> one of the most annoying battles I ever played was in which I was going up against Parthia. He deployed on a hill with equipment, defenses, uh, barricade. Uh, you be a dick? <laughs> I'm, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But if you want to be a dick, if they deploy on a hill, just run your army back and just sit there. I'll literally yeah. tell them that. I'll literally tell them, 
I'm not. You, 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 you want to? I, 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 really I just, I, I just yeah. think with with <laughs> online battles, like the only Sorry two things that, they, should, they should they should take away is if somebody runs with the timer, the computer should be able to and see a please put some freaking effort into it. This computer <laughs> should be able to freaking uh, choose who's got more units, who's got and not the quality of units, who's got more units, who's got a better chance of winning at the end instead of making it just a draw. Because I've had so but many people sometimes wait till the is... timer. And then and then it's like and they run away and they wait till the timer's over because I lose all I always lose all my cav in the beginning and it sucks Actually, I, and I, I and that. I hate that. I, but, I, I no. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, they can't even I fix. I hate that. It's so annoying. One, hold, one up, hold, up. They, so... hold up, hold up. They can't okay. fix who's gonna win. Right now, if you win, it will say close defeat all the time. The, so that wouldn't work. The, the best effort that they ever did in Shogun Two, which I will always agree with, is that they had key buildings. That was that the best is, effort. Ever. A good idea. It's, yes, it's because they had three key buildings, which showed that if you don't, ha if you have all three of those key buildings, and your opponent's just sitting there camping, you or can sit there two. and capture all of them, or yeah, you sit there and capture all, all of them. Just let the timer go down. I'm like, well, you're sitting there moving, well, so you, might you, as well. You, you know, you know what happened. You know what I, I, I know happened with that. You know how a lot of people are saying they rushed the game out because they were being pressured into it. I feel like they didn't they, they rushed it out. It was unfin it was definitely an unfinished game. They, they rushed it out. And the reason they, they rushed it out is I know because they didn't add Avatar Conquest or they didn't add key buildings or anything. They didn't put any effort into multiplayer. They, they went back to uh they went back to Napoleon Empires and Rome and medieval standards of multiplayer where everybody loves Shogun 2 multi well I mean people who have played it love Shogun 2 multiplayer because it's like it's unique. It's it fun. Step it, 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 it stops it's a step forward. They took a step back, and it's ridiculous. If, and, if and I that's may, that's the reason that I that I can't do an Avatar in Rome too. <laughs> uh, he, here's the thing. Uh, two things I'm gonna bring up, and then we'll have to wrap it up. One, they tried to do key buildings with control points. Didn't do it correctly. Uh, they decide if you hold the control point, there will be only one, and it's off in the distance on that guy's side of the map. Have fun. That was completely stupid. But they tried. They tried. Um, two, they rushed it out so quickly, and they didn't focus on uh, multiplayer at all, and they stated that. Whenever they were coming out with the patches, they stated that the very last thing they are going to be concerned about is multiplayer. And it's because you see that. Of, it's because 3% of people, this is what they said, 3% of people play multiplayer, while the other 97% is worried more about the campaign, is which is so... actually kind of true. I, I don't believe it's three percent. I don't I don't believe it's those I don't believe that, CA's yeah. numbers for one thing. That's yeah, what I, I don't believe <laughs> yeah, CA at all. Whenever they whenever they pull out numbers, it's like oh this isn't good <laughs> because Man, awesome like battle I did though one guy I played played was Arvini I believe or Oz Arvini and he had Rome. He sat there on the hill. I think it was the the battle army or something. I can't remember the name of it. Armor the battle. I can't remember. It's the one where you like one side gets like the big giant hill and the other side doesn't really get a hill. It's a really forest density map, dense map. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh, okay. He decided to fortify himself with artillery and crap on the hill. I was just like, okay, well, I see what you're doing. I ran my army back to the other side of the corner. I actually sat there and let. I was like, no, dude. Since you want to camp the hill, you do that. I'm just gonna sit back and chill. <laughs> <laughs> I did, no, the time literally wasted. I, I was like, he started moving like five minutes till till the end. I was like, okay, well, I'm still gonna sit here. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> hate it whenever hit, people do that. It's it, that and it's wasting it's that artillery, our time. The reason why is that, yeah, the reason why is that the artillery was just so overpowered. It's just it's gonna that yeah. artillery is gonna kill half my army before he even gets to him. And then he has the uphill advantage. And here's the, here's the thing that pisses me off: is that your artillery can shoot inside the effing trees, or it hits you in trees. Yeah, it's like. I was like a Shogun too. If you try to shoot an artillery unit inside a tree, they will hit the fucking tree. <laughs> the, the thing is, though, they they did a lot before they got they got good at Shogun Two. Like they Money had a lot of patches that I had to they had to download before Shogun Two was up. So I mean, it, it it's a different game. Like, it, and it's only been out for two months. So I I don't like being too harsh on it, but it, you know, it, it it does need it. But seriously, it doesn't need like you know to be compared to a finished game, I guess. All right. Well, I think oh. we vented enough, and oh, that... I've been recording for an incredibly long time, so I don't want to keep the video going on. So I want to thank all the viewers for listening to us rant, love, or whatever against CA and Total War Rome 2. Uh, Isaac Holmes signing off, and I'm joined by, of course, 
go ahead and say uh, goodbye. Genius Wars from Game Empire. See you guys later. Till then. Sun Jetsu from uh, Sun Jetsu's channel. Sorry, strategy. <laughs> <laughs> strategy World Gaming. See you later. Peace out. Unravel Skyrim. See you guys later. And of course, uh, we will catch you all in the next chapter. <laughs>